Hello and welcome to Discus, South Carolina's virtual library. It's a service of the South Carolina State Library. Today we're taking a tour of Teen Book Cloud. In our tour today, we will cover an overview of the collection, the enhanced ebooks, audiobooks, AP English titles, graphic novels, and learn how to link to titles. The Teen Book Cloud Collection for South Carolina provides unlimited access for South Carolina users. Also, unlimited simultaneous users, so an entire class or one individual may access the same book at the same time. You can also access from multiple devices such as an iPad, a computer, or smartphone. In the deluxe account for South Carolina, there are over a thousand titles, and as you see listed here, a breakout of the different numbers within the different categories fiction, nonfiction, drama and poetry, graphic novels, videos, etc. So, what's the difference between some of these ebooks and resources? An ebook, it has no narration, and you will not see a play button to be able to hear the audio. You will simply see the text of the screen of the book and the green buttons at the bottom will allow you to advance the pages forward or backward and access the chapter menu. The enhanced ebook does include the narration, and as the book is narrated by a professional narrator, the text will be highlighted, and we'll see that when we go live to our demo. Notice, though, there is a play button on the left hand side in which you can pause or play the narration. So if the student prefers to pause it and read themselves um, and then click back on to play and hear the narration, they can do that as well. There are also audiobooks, traditional audiobooks with no text, but the audio only for which the student may listen to the title. So let's go live to the Discus page at scdiscus.org and access Teen Book Cloud. You can access it easily from the A to Z list simply by clicking on A to Z list, the letter T, and Teen Book Cloud. You can also access it by grade level, middle school, or high school. So let's dive in. Notice across the top as the page loads, you will see several tabs, fiction, nonfiction, drama, and poetry. You are able to browse the collection via these tabs. You're also able to browse via the uh, carousels that you see at the bottom. So if you enjoy uh, browsing by covers, you can do that. Uh, to locate titles and open them and look at the descriptions and begin to read. Or you can also do a direct search. At the top right hand corner you would click on search. You can search by author. You can search even by keyword at the bottom or you can search by title. You have several options available to you there. So if we were searching for George Orwell, we would simply type in Orwell and search to find our results. The results that we have here will list all of the books by Orwell that are in the collection and also in the various formats that are available. For instance, the first one is an audiobook. This is from the AP collection. The third one is also an audiobook. And then an enhanced ebook that you see here. Animal Farm and any other titles by that author will also be listed. Notice for this Animal Farm enhanced ebook here, you also have additional supplementary content with reader guide and lesson plans. And these will usually take you out to a separate website outside of the Teen Book Cloud collection. But when you click on Read Online for an enhanced ebook, you will see that the book opens and you do have the play button there on your left and you will see how the text is highlighted as it is narrated. Chapter One Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember. They can continue the to read on their own. 
with the ring of light uh, or continue to have it narrated. There are also text options at the bottom. If your student prefers to enlarge the text on their device, uh, just to be able to get a closer look at it, to be able to read it more comfortably for their eyes, they can also adjust the color options. Although it defaults to black on white here, they can adjust those for that session. Um, they're also able to uh, browse the book by chapter, so the chapter menu. If the last page that they were reading was in chapter three, they can just progress directly to that chapter and continue to uh, browse through the book in that way as well. Once a student closes the book that, for that tab and goes back to the software, they're also able to actually search for books yet another way, and that is through the index that you see in the top navigation bar there on the left. You can click on the index. Um, you'll see that the titles are here alphabetically listed. You are also able to go to the heading uh, there above in the green bar and click on author to have the books presented um, by an author order if you prefer to browse that way. I do recommend that as you change different settings that you go to your browser and refresh that browser in between um, indications so that you will be able to um, easily change your your settings on your sorts. So if I want to sort by title here yet again as the default goes You'll see that we are from our A to Z, starting with numbers there. Notice across the top, there is a key to all of the different icons that you'll find along the left-hand side of the book titles. So a TBC is a green TBC title. Uh, the orange one will actually link to a, out to a title. The red speaker will indicate that the book does have an audio format. And then if there's supplementary context, such as a lesson plan and that kind of information, that will be shown in the third column next to the title. So if I want to go in and perhaps look at the Call of the Wild as a title, I can click on the letter C there and see my options for the Call of the Wild here. And if I go out to the title, I'm going to be able to see that this is an enhanced ebook. And again, all of my options that are here. So if I go uh, down to the lesson plans, for instance, to view those, these are the ones that are going to be linking outside of the software. And as you can see here, if I click on this lesson, it goes out to a site that gives me vocabulary for each chapter in Call of the Wild. So I have some definitions of terms and then I also have some leading questions for the reader, some guided questions there, some different homework pieces that would be useful to homeschoolers, teachers, parents, uh, perhaps even just the student reading the book and looking at various ways to um, approach the book and different questions to ask about it. So you can see that uh, those are pretty robust there, those lesson plans. You can actually go back out to the index uh, once again, if you want to link that title, The Call of the Wild, uh, into an assignment, maybe an electronic assignment, or maybe you want to add it uh, to an electronic listing for your library, maybe just a PDF file of books that your students could use for a particular class or topics, you could actually go to that book and click on the book ID, which you see to the left here. When you click on that book ID, notice you're getting the URL that will directly link out to that book. So you could then copy that URL and you could bring it into a Word doc, perhaps a Word doc assignment. So we're going to go ahead and copy it here. I'm going to pause and pull up a Word document. So after we've copied the URL, we can open up our Word document and we can actually go in now and highlight the title. So if you are giving an assignment to access a particular title, you can highlight that title. Just going to highlight it here. You can actually go in 
and um, add a link. So we could do call of the wild here. We could go in uh, to insert a hyperlink there. Uh, quickly insert that book ID URL that we just pulled from our software. And now it is an active link. So the call of the wild assignment, access the book, read chapter one, define the following words, and type a sentence from the chapter that contains one of the words. So you could actually do this as an assignment, save it as a PDF um, to send electronically for virtual students. You could actually pull that URL from the book ID and link it into a Google Classroom assignment. You could also create um, a, a little title of books that you again want to share there in your library. So there are very uh, many options you can use to link to these titles. And although it does not usually require the Discus username and path, password, if for any reason uh, there were a question about that, you would want to make sure that you have the Discus username and password uh, listed somewhere in your Google Classroom. Uh, certainly not out on the open web. Uh, we're not able to post the username and password on the open web, but you are able to um, actually include it behind a LMS or a Google Classroom piece. So that is the uh, overview today of the Teen Book Cloud. There are lots of options for you. Notice the AP English option that we have here. These are actually broken out uh, by time period. So we have the ancient works, classics here, classics from the 1900s to 1944, more contemporary works here. And you also have drama and Shakespeare. So some of these uh, you're going to find uh, are excellent because some of these are in different formats as well. Uh, so if we browse through the different Shakespeare plays or the poetry with Emily Dickinson here, uh, you'll also notice the graphic novels. And these are also broken out uh, in, uh, very nicely for students to be able to see the teen and the middle school related uh, titles that are in the graphic novel collection. They can expand to see all of them here uh, and just browse. Usually when they're wanting to read a graphic novel it's going to be something more that they want to choose you know of their own choosing and not necessarily um, something that's assigned. Uh, but that said there are uh, some of the plays for instance here we have um, the As You Like It play by Shakespeare, that is in the graphic novel format. When they click Read Online here, it's actually going to open as a PDF file and they're able to then navigate uh, the book this way. So they're able to scroll through. Uh, they're also able to view the chapters. So if they want to quickly get to a particular section, uh, they can do that also. So that's uh, the final format that you're going to find there in your teen book collection. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again in a future session. You're always welcome to contact us at the South Carolina State Library and the Electronic Resources Department. This is the Discus Office contacts that you are welcome uh, to contact us with any additional questions. Thank you.